Alright guys, Titan Quest 2. Is it going to be able to keep up with Path of Exile 2 and Diablo 4? Let's check it out. We got brand new gameplay. Uh, if you haven't played Titan Quest, it's a pretty legit action RPG. But um, it is quite old. Let's see how it's looking. I want to see like skill trees, classes. What do they bring to the action RPG genre? So first off, graphics wise, it looks pretty good. Build your hero, okay. Let's see kind of how the uh, the skills look. This is the first gameplay reveal, I believe. So it looks like we have the leap slams, some sort of like giant hurricane AOE or tornado. Crabs, modify our ability. So we have basic leap. Ooh! It has extra charge or more cooldown or something like that. The graphics are, are, are pretty good, but I feel like some of the animations uh, for some of these skills, I mean, it's earlier on. We'll have to wait and see if that changes. But some of the animations look a little bit stiff. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up. And I want this game to do well. I want every action RPG to do well. So wield weapons of legend. Okay, so we got like legendary weapons or something. We have the legendary Diablo beam, very iconic. Okay. Like the characters kind of look a little bit stiff. They don't feel like fluid. Like if you watch like the the resting animation of like the Diablo screen, they feel very alive. And that's like one area where I would compare it. But as long as the game is fun, that's what matters. So far, like I like the music. Is that it? Come on, do we get something else? Oh, do we have a release date though? Wishlist now. All right. What'd you guys think about it? I wanted to see a lot more. It was very, very small for the duration. They only give us like a second to check it out. So we're going to go back. I'm going to check out the uh, showcase. So it looks like we get a skill and this is Leap Slam. We have one, two, three, four, five. So is it basically like PoE where it's like, okay, we have a six link at this point and there's some sort of little like emblem over here. It looks like maybe as we progress in levels or something, we have damage, cost, cooldown, crit, ailments. So we're gonna be able to do some sort of ailments. We also see kind of in the background, the skill tree over here or something. So it looks like we have some skills and we have tier one, two, three, and four. And then we have warfare and storm. So it looks like there's two skill trees and it looks like I'm guessing you're gonna put multiple points. We see eight points into what looks like leap slam. And then over here we have some other things. So I'm guessing you need to put a certain amount of points in like this, like this row, and then you can go up vertically is kind of how it's designed. But then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven modifiers over here. And let's pause so we can see what it does. So um, uh, we have the seismic leap. It deals 10 strike damage in a two meter re radius uh, at your launch position. It deals 20% more landing damage. Oh, so, okay. So it looks like how it works is when you put these in, they have capacity and it will fill up the little shields. And then this one capacity is two, so we have an extra charge, but then has a base cooldown duration. And that's what we are seeing over here. Okay, uh, so far I like the concept of it. I mean, obviously it's early, so the animations hopefully can be like, you know, a little bit more improved next gen, but overall it, it's really too early to say. I wanna see the itemization. What do we got that's brand new to the action RPG genre? Cause at the moment it's kind of like a PoE's skill gem system, uh, the, way, the way I see it at least. But again, excited to check it out. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And if you guys wanna be up to date on this game, as I'm definitely gonna be covering it when it comes out. If you're new here, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Titan Quest 2. What do you think of it?